In today's video, we're going to be talking all about calamus root. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another root video, pick a card video, spell video. I have so many fun things going on on my channel and I don't want you guys to miss out. We're all friends here and I want you guys to be notified of every video that I put out so that we can connect even better. So make sure you subscribe and you click the notification bell. But today I wanted to talk about something that a lot of you have been DMing me about, messaging me about, asking me and asking me and asking me about, which is calamus root and domination work. Domination spells, domination rituals, domination herbs. You guys have been going crazy for it. And I wanted to tell you that the number one thing that I would advise from my experience with my clients and myself is calamus root. So if you want to do domination work, to control something, to have power over something, to persuade, to influence, calamus root is your herb. And I'm going to show you a few ways to use it in a few different spells for a few different things. It's an herb that helps you get the upper hand. It gives you luck. It favors you. It helps you to get your way. It's a controlling and compelling herb. Calamus root is something that helps you take power back over your energy, especially when your energy becomes very frazzled or chaotic or just all over the place, or scattered, confused even. You know, I've experienced that so much in my life and calamus root is something that I keep around me or, you know, near me always to just calm my mind and to get my thoughts in order. It's something that helps me control my thoughts a lot. I'll sleep with it under your pillow, your mattress, Keep it near your photos. That's actually something that I do. I keep calamus root near my own photos uh, to get, like, if it's not around me personally, physically, then it's around a photo of me. Calamus root is also used for self-expression. If there's something that you need to talk about, if there's something that you want to express, uh, a new business you want to start because you want to express your creativity, you want to express a new hairstyle, a new lipstick style, a new plastic surgery, whatever it is, it's self-expression and calamus root helps you navigate that and figure that out and what form and what kind of self-expression would be good for you. So if you, you know, if you're confused about something like that, uh, about your self-expression and how you express yourself, um, calamus root would probably be a really good herb to use to help navigate figuring all of that out. Calamus root is very, very good for your heart chakra and your throat chakra. So for a lot of you that are dealing with heartache, um, you know, heartbreak, that have been in the past, trauma in the past that has to do with your love life, you know, your relationships, love, partners, and stuff like that. Calamus root is something that you want to keep around you, whether in the herb form, the oil, perfume, whatever it is, because it helps you heal past trauma. It helps you heal very deep embedded trauma. It helps you with your heart chakra and in your throat chakra, so it helps you speak and talk it out, but it also helps you heal it out from your heart too. Okay, let's get into the magic of the calamus root. So I'm gonna show you guys a few little spells that you can do. The first one is um, you can take a whole root or you can break off a little piece of it or you could take calamus powder, oil, chips, whatever it is that you have. Make sure that it is calamus root and you keep it in your right hand. When you go for an interview, when you go for um, a job offer, an opportunity, some kind of like a promotion, reward, uh, business meeting, anything of that sort, keep a calamus root in your right hand while you're speaking. Another thing you could do with calamus root is to keep either an entire root or, or you can keep the chips or the oil on your altar. And what it does is it helps all your work that you perform on your altar, any manifestation you do, any prayers you have, any intentions that you have, calamus root on your altar, if you keep it there, it helps in your favor. It helps you get the upper hand. It helps your spirits gain more earthly power. Uh, calamus root is actually very dominating, so it helps to dominate energy and situations and you know in your favor. 
according to what your intention is. Another thing that I want to share with you guys is if you have calamus root, like a root that I have right here, or if you have the chips, or if you have oil, um, put a, if you have the oil, put it in like any kind of candle and put the candle in the middle of your stove. Uh, if you have a root, put the root in the middle of your stove. If you have chips, you can uh, throw some chips in a candle in the middle of your stove. Or what I like to do is, you know the, the spoon holder, like when you're cooking, you have a spoon holder, right? You can throw some herbs in there and the most perfect herbs that you could throw in there is calamus and basil. Calamus helps you dominate and basil helps to keep the peace and happiness and harmony, reconciliation and family bliss and abundance and money. So calamus and basil in the middle of your stove. Okay, so the next way that I want to teach you guys how to use calamus root is actually with a purple candle. So purple is a color of leadership and domination persuasion, power, control. And so you could use purple color candles with calamus root for domination work. Now, if you guys are interested, I do have domination oil on my website, on my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested, I, I think they're out of stock. I'm not too sure yet, but I will be making some. This is the next batch of oils that I'm gonna be working on. I'm also redoing the logo. I hand paint my logos now because I work them on my altar. So every time I work my logo on my altar, your oil gets worked as well. So I'm, I'm incorporating that into my work now. Uh, so if you guys are interested, um, new logos will be coming out soon. I just need to sit down and paint them. So one thing you could do is you're going to write your full name and your date of birth going down. So your, your name going this way. Okay, so you're going to be writing, so you're going to turn your candle around this way and you're going to write your name coming down because we're inviting this intention to come down into our life from the ethers and the ethers is where the flame will be, okay, where the wick is. So your name, date of birth, and your intention. You're going to lace this up with oil and then you're going to put the calamus root over it. If not, if you don't want to use it with oil or whatever, then you can use your calamus root, okay, make a circle out of it, and you're going to, um, what you're gonna do is melt the bottom of your candle right here, and you're gonna stick it and burn it down like that. So there's several different ways that you could use this. Uh, combination of a purple candle and calamus root. When the candle burns down completely, you want to throw the roots, the ash, whatever you're using, the leftover remains of the candle wax, you want to throw it in your backyard because this is something that you are attracting. Because obviously when you're working with calamus root, you are dominating and persuading and influencing and attracting. So those are the things that you want to bury in your backyard because those are things you want to cultivate and grow and make stronger, right? Another thing you could do is to keep either uh, the calamus root chips or the whole entire calamus root in your bedroom for protection especially this is really really good to break evil eye and curses and like say people are jealous of your relationship people see you happy in your relationship and they get jealous they they send evil eye towards you know your love life this is really good to keep in your uh, bed like your bed space your bedroom and stuff like that to, to get rid of those kinds of energies jinxes and evil eyes and negative energy around your love life okay the next and last spell that i want to share with you guys is a very strong very powerful one that i want to share with only those of you that are ready for this okay so what you're going to need is four calamus root stems or sticks or roots and you're going to need a purple candle so this is very powerful. If you have an intention, a specific intention, new job, new relationship, new house, new whatever it is that you want to attract yourself, I want you to write your name, okay, your name going from the wick down, 
and then you're going to write your intention on to the candle. So you're going to use something sharp. You could use a key, a knife, a needle, a feather, whatever it is. But you want to engrave all of that stuff into a purple candle. Now what this is for is for manifesting your intention. Whatever your intention is, you're going to write it on this purple candle and you're going to put it in between these four calamus root. So those are some ways that you could use calamus root. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are interested in my domination oil, I should have some up in my shop very, very soon. And they have calamus root in it as well as other domination herbs. And those should be up in my shop very, very soon if you're interested. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon.